Hi, welcome to the Cashman Wellness Show. This is about stopping, preventing, reversing type 2 diabetes. You can see the name of my book, So Many People in the World, especially this community, have diabetes type 2 mainly, which causes about 50 to 100 diseases. And what I'm telling you today, it can be prevented, stopped, reversed 90% of the time. And we are missing the opportunity throughout the world. But I'm facing it directly to the point I've declared war on it. Rudy's war on diabetes because it doesn't take a lot to do it, and I'll teach you how today. Incidentally, you can look at my previous Facebook post or YouTube TV shows on diabetes, uh, uh, probably many, many shows. So I want you to gather information. My bullets, uh, my war, my bullets are information, uh, and you could get rid of diabetes probably in 90 days, I think personally, probably a month. Uh, a, a, besides my book, I provide many sources of information. Goodbye, Pills and Needles by Tom Jelinek, right here. You can get on Amazon. Uh, I refer to him constantly. To me, this is almost like a Bible. It, it's excellent excellent source of information because he's not even a doctor, he's a PhD, uh, and he did it. He was extremely overweight, but he explains the science of it just like my book does, just like my book does, uh, and, and you can do it quickly. So let me review this a little bit and go through a little bit of history. Actually, a book was written by Joseph R. Kraft MD, a pathologist, University of Chicago, University of Illinois. Uh, he did the research, yes, 1970s. <laughs> yes, and published a book, this one here, 2006. The information has been out there that long that we medical doctors, number one, have not stepped up to bat and gave that information to you, uh, I don't know. Uh, industry, even the medical schools, I offered to teach this at the medical school in town here, uh, and, and, and I'm waiting for the phone to ring, okay? Uh, and, and what they say is national tells them what they can teach, but they're not teaching people how to get rid of diabetes. I noticed um, that the medical school, Trine University now, where I've given lectures, uh, are joining uh, uh, the Parfu Hospital System, building a building right behind their DuPont uh, location. So their relationship is coming like this, and you think they are going to teach you how not to get diabetes so we'd have less patients at the hospital. Don't hold your breath. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm so disappointed that universities and medical schools are joining hospitals in maintaining this disease. Their source of income is the complications of diabetes, which are about 50 to 100. Yes, yes, that's the reality of it. So become a, a, a soldier in my war because I'm doing everything I can to spread the word. And you notice I'm speaking openly about it. Uh, uh, at this time. Let me just show you here, hold up for you here, you can get a copy of this. Uh, online or from me uh, personally. What I did here, and I'm gonna view them a little bit, and at the bottom is a QR code too, which will lead to tremendous more inf information. And uh, what does type two diabetes do? Type one is where you don't make uh, any insulin, and that's not as common, but many people with advanced type two, eventually their pancreas doesn't work, and they go into type two also. Uh, but the type one was thought to be mainly, they used to call it juvenile, just the children, but now adults are getting it. 
uh, 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 too. Uh, and uh, it, it can, yes, it can be, some of the cases can be prevented. Milk is a common cause of type 1 diabetes. Milk drinkers, it's a reaction to their casein protein um, and an autoimmune reaction. The pancreas gets destroyed uh, and they need to take insulin from then on. But let me, uh, insulin pushes sugar into the cells to give energy. But uh, a certain company in Indiana makes a lot of it. You hear about it, uh, the price of it. They've kept the price high so they can make a fortune. They slowly dropped it, but it's never uh, uh, been released to the point it probably will cost $2 a dose. Uh, but now they're selling it for $35 or so. Um, uh, and the New Health Act, I think, froze the amount a little bit. But the trouble with insulin, it helps cause a disease. Yes, how do anybody know that? Let me tell you the science of that. Insulin pushes sugar into the cell. Let's say you're a type 2 diabetic where the sugar level is high and the insulin level is high, type 1 diabetes, you don't have insulin, okay? Uh, but uh, things that incidentally that can kill the pancreas, type 1, uh, gluten is, is one uh, and milk is the other. Mm -hmm. Read a book by Joe Keon called Whitewash. It's right in that book in detail. N never speak to a doctor that knows that. Um, and, uh, but insulin puts the sugar into the cell. But the cell then becomes like this, gets bigger because of the more sugar. And what does a cell do, do with the sugar? It, it, you may need some, so we'll use some in your activities you're doing. Uh, then a certain amount can be sent to the liver and the muscles as glycogen. You can store about 2,000 calories that way. And then any extra sugar that's in length and pushed in there goes to fat. And now we become bigger. And if you will look at to the injection site, for instance, you'll notice it goes bigger. Cells are, do are doing that. And your body is going like that. And next year you need more insulin, next year more insulin, the next year more uh, insulin. It, it may save the life of the type 1. But in the end, it's making people bigger, heavier, and we need more insulin every year. The answer is preventing it, stopping, reversing it, which can be done in a short period of time. And the good books to read would be Rudy's War on Diabetes. Uh, another one I mentioned to you is Tom Jelinek's book, where he explains the sign also in great detail, and he himself perfectly uh, did that. Uh, incidentally, I had my blood work checked uh, about three weeks ago, and everything came back 100% normal from HSCRP to blood sugar and all that. And I didn't always know what right food to eat. My dad had a deli in New York. I ate bad food, but I learned things and I changed. Okay, and I exercise uh, uh, some too. Uh, but let me review the diseases type 2 diabetes causes. Blindness, retinal disease, cataracts. Most retinal disease is due to diabetes. I actually went to two retinal surgeons in town here probably 15 years ago because I knew this diabetes did that and I wanted them to join me, my army, to help change the community. They refused. Mm -hmm. Good guys, I don't know what they were thinking because I needed some help. I can't just do it uh, uh, myself. Also, a lot of, quote, Alzheimer's disease, uh, memory loss, uh, is due to insulin metabolism. It, it has to do with the proteins uh, in the brain, the tau that gets deposited, that interferes with uh, uh, nerve conduction in the brain. Uh, most people who have severe memory loss, it's due to diabetes, so it's stoppable. It may even be still reversible, so it's very uh, important. A lot of strokes, vast disease, are due to uh, uh, diabetes. 
almost all dental diseases from eating too much sugar. The bacteria are sugar eaters. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, diabetics, uh, the blood sugar goes down, they get to eat more, and they get more dental disease. If we taught our children to brush their teeth regularly and eat a proper way of eating, we wouldn't have anywhere near the amount of dental disease that we have. Incidentally, while I'm speaking about it, the, the viruses are sugar feeders. The coronavirus 19 that we just had there, I never heard Fauci bring it up, that 90% of the people who die from the virus or future viruses are diabetics. 90% of the people who died in New York had diabetes. If we had, in the nation, taught people how to prevent, stop, reverse diabetes, the majority wouldn't have died from the viruses and they have, had gotten rid of all these diseases I'm mean, talking about in the boot. We just saved millions of people's lives. It's the truth. Look it up. A virus is a non-living thing. It does not live till it enters an animal or human cell and steals genetic material, sugar, and fatty acids, which are made from sugar. And that's how it multiplies, it leaves the cell and sp spreads through the world. Viruses are sugar feeders. Cancer is a sugar feeder. Otto Warburg proved that in 1930, that it takes 13, 13 to 15 molecules of sugar to make one ATP for energy. That's been known for years. So that's the reason type 2 diabetics have a higher rates of cancer. Most breast cancer is due to pe have people with prediabetes or diabetes. Incidentally, there's no such thing as prediabetes. It, it's a continuum, and, and Joseph Kraft uh, proved it by doing autopsies on, on, on people. So he looked at the bottom line. He, he, he did autopsies on 14,300 people. Uh, he then studied uh, on 3,000 some people. He then studied 14,000 uh, people, did some graphs, and obtained serum insulin and serum sugars and find out if you get a serum insulin, remember that's the one that pushes sugar in the cell, if you did that, you would anticipate type 2 diabetes, which is 50 to 100 diseases that causes probably 10 to 15 years before its time. We should be testing children with serum insulin starting at age three. That's what he did. And he found the biggest rise occurs in the age two to six because that's where the, the highest increase in obesity in the population is occurring. Yet pediatricians don't check uh, sugar closer till the child is 14 years old or so, much too late by that time. Many of them are on the path to diabetes already. So if you get a serum insulin test, as a matter of fact, let me give an example. If you weighed, say, 220 pounds, and, and I went through that at General Motors store recently, uh, and there was a nurse practitioner there uh, from the uh, pharmacy school, uh, and, and he'd had a normal blood sugar, and he weighed 220, and she said, you don't have diabetes. I said, wait a minute. I said, have him get a glucose tolerance test, whether you swallow sugar, and they do it fasting, one hour, two hour, uh, and he had that done, and that was normal. You don't have diabetes. I said, I still don't accept that. Get a serum insulin, in which he did, and it was highly elevated. So he definitely uh, had diabetes. Serum elevated serum insulin is the first thing that occurs. Yet in this nation and in this world, there are only a few doctors who do that. Mark Hyman does it in his books, uh, that famous books that he's written. Uh, but it's not done throughout the world when it should be. The medical school should be leading the way, and they are not. And of course, industry, industry is not going to do it. Hospitals are not going to do it uh, because that would decrease the business they got and the money they make. I got them. Take me on about it. No one's called me yet uh, about it. I know I'm right. This is in many books. This is nothing uh, new. So Joseph Kraft 
You can still see him, incidentally, on YouTube as a 92-year-old. Uh, you can pull K-R-A-F-T, Joseph. He says, and he's died since. That was this book published 2006. He, he, he died a year or two ago. He says, I'll be looking down upon you before you, the world will change the way they test for diabetes. He said that. Look at YouTube. He, he's saying that. I've watched it a number of times. Uh, and, and, and he says, too, do not exclude you normal fasting blood sugar, normal weight, do not exclude you from being type 2 diabetic. Isn't that what I said? That's on the back of his book. Uh, one of the undiagnosed millions, yes, I do mean you, get tested. Get tested. If you're overweight, 90%, 5% chance you're diabetic. Mm -hmm. I see certain groups for almost auto model like this, and they think they're healthy. They're not healthy. They get diabetes. They're going to die 20 years before their time and may be disabled. Continuing on this list of diseases from, from diabetes, sudden heart attacks, strokes, thyroid disease, especially renal disease. We have these dialysis center in town form now, I think. Uh, and there's five stages to renal disease. A lot of these people is from diabetes, 80% or so. The first three stages of GFR tests uh, people have no symptoms. Most doctors aren't running the tests for that. So th then we catch them on stage four. Oh, you need dialysis. In two years, you'll need transplant. Another year or two, you'll be dead. Yes, preventable. Stop all preventable renal disease is, is one of the scams going on when, when we could be testing very early on people. And these dialysis centers are making a lot of money if we taught people how to get healthy and not get renal disease, they would make less money, no question about it. But aren't we doctors, renal doctors? Wake up, we are doctors. Join me in this fight to diagnose people with renal disease early. Uh, and because people with diabetes are overweight, remember the insulin adds to the, to the problem. There's a lot of hip arthritis, knee arthritis, bowel disease, multiple cancers. Many cancers, especially breast cancer, colon cancer, are related to being a diabetic. Cancer loves to eat sugar. And 13 to 15 molecules of sugar to make one ATP, so cancer is looking for sugar. Uh, but if you lose your weight, you, you may not get breast cancer. Yet, I see Vera Bradley sends all the money for genetic research in Indianapolis, keep, keep very little here. Uh, when they could prevent a great deal of breast cancer by teaching people proper nutrition. And they would, at the same time, not just prevent breast cancer, but they would prevent all these other diseases. If you see a person uh, that has not been in the war and the leg has been amputated, odds are they are diabetic and their disease was preventable. Ear disease, most of it is due to diabetes. Meniere's disease, almost all diabetes, the reason being very small blood vessels supply uh, the ear, uh, and the insulin punches a hole in the inner, inner lining of, of the vessel that starts the uh, atherosclerotic process. Cholesterol is not the cause of this problem, which is what they make us believe. They make us take a statin drug, when in reality, statins promote disease. They don't stop disease. Uh, read The Dark Side of Statins, another big statin book is by a man named Evans, a yellow book, real big. Uh, it, it's brutal, and you'll find out, but don't stop your statin or, or not start it because of what I said. I want you to gather the information, read the books I mentioned, and if you take a statin and not stop it, I would be surprised. But again, I'm not the final word you, your doctor is but have them read those books. I never met a doctor yet that read either one of those books. Why, I don't know. They don't make extra money because of that. Uh, let's do the, let's do the um, uh, right thing. A lot of impotency uh, is related uh, to diabetes. Yes, because it's a vascular disease. Three years before diagnosis, many times, 
people have a problem uh, uh, with that. I know of lots of people actually uh, that do. Re so renal failure, uh, uh, sudden unannounced heart attacks. If you have a heart attack, 50% of the people just grab their chest and they die. No warning, no angina, nothing. So what I'm saying about you, you're getting tested, especially serum insulin, is very important uh, because it may, uh, you may save your life. You will save uh, your life, but yet I don't see our medical society or our hospital system promoting early testing. I've talked to the head of diabetes uh, uh, at the hospitals. I asked them to read the craft book. Uh, I took it to a pediatrician who was very well known in, in, in the city, and he didn't read the book. I went back a bit later, oh, I lost the book. So I gave him another book. He still doesn't call back and say, Rudy, I viewed the book, and I think we should change the way we test uh, 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 children. Now, if you are having, say, uh, a significant weight problem, and, and like I said, most people overweight 90% or more are diabetics. Unless you prove to me you had a normal glucose tolerance test, a normal insulin test. But this is an excellent book, uh, simply keto, uh, shifting your mindset and realizing your worth by Susan Ryan. I highly recommend this book. Uh, it's full of recipes, uh, foods to eat, breakfast, lunch, steaks, and the first uh, 25 pages or so, uh, she explains to you what keto is all about. And uh, you've heard about ketones uh, lately. Uh, we have, you know, sh uh, sugary molecules that run our brain, but the brain can run on ketones also. They are small molecules of fat. If you were to eat, uh, not eat carbohydrates or sugar, your sugar would drop and then your insulin drops along w with it. Uh, and then the fat cells open up and fat goes to the liver and is converted to ketones, small molecules. Now your brain and the rest of your body can run on ketone metabolism. A real healthy, if you do this, uh, you can speed up the rate of, of reversal of preventing this uh, disease. What I have in my book uh, here, Rudy's War on Diabetes, I have uh, a chapter on there uh, time, that's about time-regulated eating, which means 16, 8, 16 hours you fast, last meal, six or seven, don't eat again until 11 or 12. What happens in that fasting period, time-regulated eating, is that it gives your body a chance to cleanse itself, repair cells, get rid of cells, build new cells. Uh, and then uh, I'm eating two meals a day. I'm not hungry in the fasting period because your body secretes growth hormone, steroids, Glucagon, the opposite of insulin, keeps your blood sugar up, and in the morning I'm not hungry because my sugar isn't down. It, it works through circadian rhythm. That's the, in a 24-hour period, uh, and I'm not hungry. I eat at 11:30 or 12, uh, and and, and it, so I'm 16.8, 134 pounds. I'd like to prove to you uh, what I do is. Uh, healthy. I had my blood work done about three weeks ago. It was perfectly normal. I'm sure it was not perfectly normal 10, 20 uh, years ago. Um, but I've been teaching this way uh, for a long time. But it's easy. If it was hard, I probably wouldn't be doing it. And I'm very uh, energetic. Play pickleball five days a week. It is 39 for the 47th time. Um, uh, I tap dance in my basement uh, every day a little bit, turn on the Bee Gees, and I'm going at it with my feet. That helps my pickleball, incidentally. <laughs> uh, uh, so what I'm saying is I practice what I'm telling you, but I want you to gather more information. Uh, but if you wait, get Susan Ryan's book. She lost 125 pounds, looks like a beautiful girl, but, and, and she uh, uh, she did it, and, and she has some websites you can go into uh, that, that would help you. And there are great pictures in there of recipes, breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner, uh, appetizers, desserts, 
So if, if you uh, uh, need to lose a few pounds and want to get rid of your diabetes, you could do it probably in a month, in a month, and look like that, and look like that. And uh, it's, it's important. I know of many successful people in this community who had big companies, wonderful pe people who, who have diabetes, uh, renal disease, all sorts of things, run big companies, sell products all over the world, but they get diabetes, yet they don't change. I've even handed them book, Don't Be Brainwashed. You want to die young? Or don't listen. Okay, you want to be want to be healthy, and you can do it. I never said you had to diet. I never said you that you need to to uh, consume less food. It's just different food. Okay, uh, and and if you did it one of the two meals in my my time regulated eating six odds are be enough. I know of people who just did the TRE, the time regulated eating, the, the fasting and didn't change their diet, I might get healthy anyway. If you did one of the two meals that you ate uh, uh, healthy uh, and avoided maybe uh, donuts in the morning and, and instead ate a couple of eggs with guacamole or something like that, uh, uh, one of the two meals, uh, you, you probably live to be 100 and look good while you're at it. I mean, that's the point. As we get a day older, uh, some people don't think us good, don't work us, they don't play sports as much, it's because uh, they've given up. They have not tried to change uh, their diet or their exercise habits. Remember, I'm 39 for the 47th time and, and playing pickleball with uh, young people and I'm keeping up and I may not be as good as the best, but I'm pretty good at it. I did it today, uh, and uh, but thank you for listening. I want you to gather some more information from these books. I want you to go to Rudy Cashman YouTube. It is full of, um, and you can say diabetes or strokes or stress, and a whole bunch of TV shows will come up. Or you can go to Facebook, uh, YouTube, and, and, and Facebook and gather, gather some more information. And, and because the more you know, the more likely that you will change. Don't just accept uh, the, the diagnosis, but many of you probably aren't even diagnosed. You had the wrong test. So again, why do I do this? Because I care about you. I love you. I want you to tap dance with me when, when I'm 100. I want you to play pickleball with me. If you need to, more information, Look at these websites, do some reading, or talk to me in person. I do this because I care about you. I love you. That's why I do it. And uh, thanks for listening. Namaste.